In travel today, our guests want to take you on a unique adventure. You'll spend 11 days cycling through central Cambodia while raising money for a very worthy cause too. Sounds like an opportunity that is too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, joining us in the Harvey Norman Lounge, Emma Dent and Sarah Black from Cure Kids. Good morning, guys. Hi. Good morning. Now, to tell me, Emma, the adventure is called Cycle Cambodia. What's it yes. all about? Yes, so it does what it says on the tin. It's something that we're really excited about. It's Cure Kids' first foray into adventure tourism. So guests spend 11 days, as you said, in Cambodia, and it's a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see Cambodia in quite a unique way. So you'll spend six days on a bike, traveling through Cambodia, experiencing the sights and sounds. Comfy seats, comfy seats. Comfy seats, <laughs> absolutely. And of course, some time in between to rest and recuperate and, um, you know, go and see the, the sights and sounds of What Cambodia. a fantastic thing. What a fantastic way to see a country too. Now, Sarah, you were there a couple of years ago. I was. What was yes. it like? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And this itinerary looks incredible. Um, I think you spend the first few days in and around Siem Reap, which is essentially the gateway to, to the Angkor um, temple complex, which is a, a World Heritage listed site, um, and rightfully so. You know, it was built in the late 12th century, and I think when you come from somewhere like New Zealand, where our history is so recent, yeah. and you go to somewhere with these structures that are thousands of years old, it's you spend true, the whole time just going, wow! It is absolutely awe-inspiring. The fact, that even how they created them, let alone the detail, is amazing. Um, also, you go uh, out to a a fishing village which is in the middle of a flooded lake um, which is incredible it's like a little kind of floating village which has a school which is floating and um, shops and, and yeah, it's the, the hub of this fishing village um, you then go up to Batambang which is kind of famous for its French architecture um, and then you finish in Phnom Penh which is the capital and set on the Mekong wow. River so you sort of travel essentially from Siem Reap up to um, Phnom Penh um, with a, a combination of days cycling, some road Road transfers. Uh, yes, it's, it looks absolutely sounds, incredible. I'd love to go back. Exactly up my alley. This is yes. the sort of thing I love. Do you have to be an expert cyclist to go on with this? No, you don't. So all that the trip requires is that you're moderately fit, and it's on the 19th of October, so plenty of time between to now and then to get moderately <laughs> fit. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in the 11 days, you cover 321 kilometres okay. whilst on your bike, and each day of cycling ranges from between 35 kilometres and 80 kilometres. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad and there's also a support vehicle so if you're feeling a little bit weary you can always jump on the support Good. vehicle if needed what about and all your health? luggage is being carried as well so oh, you're, yeah, you're you cycling it. no so it's exactly it's it's slightly like glamping you know you're, you're on the bike but someone else is doing all this the heavy is getting lifting. better and better are there any hills this is the next question no cambodia is a, a very flat country, yes. lots of really flat, open roads, surprisingly unbusy, beautiful kind of rice paddies. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, no, there's, it's not a particularly hilly region. Oh, it looks beautiful. So all you're really in danger of is, is wobbling off the road when you're going, wow, looking at the <laughs> yeah, rice paddies exactly. and things. <laughs> um, the money raised too, is for, uh, the, it, it's for Cure Kids, isn't it? How does all this work? So Cure Kids funds research which aims to save and improve the lives of children living with conditions and illnesses. Mm -hmm. So we've got our wonderful ambassador in the audience today, Lucas. Lucas lives with cerebral palsy, which is just one of the conditions that Cure Kids funds research into. So everything from autism through to heart conditions, genetic conditions, stillbirth. There's a, um, a huge amount of information on our website about our research if people want to find out more. Mm -hmm. And with the help of the New Zealand public over the last well, since the 70s, we've invested more than $40 million into research. Wow. So the more uh, money that we can raise through events like these, the more research we can fund, the greater the benefit for children, not just today, but also for many generations So you get to, to go come. on an incredible tour, and then you also get to be doing something for a worthy cause. Exactly. Which is just... What's not to love? The absolute <laughs> ideal, ideal <laughs> holiday combo. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to do some research into this because I'm pretty hooked.